Okay, I've got this great idea for an animated film. We'll take Shakespeare's classic love story, Romeo and Juliet, except all of the characters will be lawn gnomes. You know, like the Travelocity guy, only cuter. We'll call it, get this, Gnomeo and Juliet. Then we'll get a really, really famous guy to do the music. You know, like uh, Elton John. Oh, what the heck, let's make him executive producer too. Maybe we can even talk him into performing a song at the premiere. Wouldn't that be awesome? I remember when Rob was young Know me up and Julie I put some up fun Holding hands and a singing song Think this is a harebrained idea? Well, yeah, it kind of is, but Rocket Pictures finally pulled it off, releasing Nomeo and Juliet through Disney's Touchstone label. It took years of starts and stalls to do it, though. It's been like giving birth to um, a 750-pound whale. Um, you know, it's been on, off, on, off. We fought tooth and nail for this, um, for this movie. After 11 years of fighting, Nomeo and Juliet made it to the screen, with its parallels to the Bard intact, mostly. It's just the, the most famous love story of all time, Romeo and Juliet. I mean, it's a tragedy in, 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 in the William Shakespeare. We, we couldn't really turn it into a tragedy for an anime. We didn't want children sobbing their way out the cinema. So we've, we've, you know, we've had poetic license with the ending. We've made it a happy ending. But, um, it is. You know, the two families who are diametrically opposed, the two known families, the Reds and the Blues, um, are always at war with each other. And in the end, uh, peace is better than war. It always comes up, and because two people from each other fall, from each group fall in love with each other, then it brings about harmony and peace in the, in the, in the two warring factions. So, yeah, they ha it always has a message, and that's you know what animation films, especially from Disney, have always had. The movie is directed by Kelly Asbury, no stranger to animation, as he also directed Shrek 2. For Romeo and Juliet, he assembled a very talented, mostly British cast. James McAvoy and Emily Blunt are two of the finest young actors out there. Um, and we were so lucky to get them, and they've fitted in perfectly. Um, Michael Caine is a, a great friend of mine and one of the greatest actors out there, and I adore him. And as Juliet's father, he is perfect. Music plays an important role in Romeo and Juliet, and John wrote two new songs for the film with longtime collaborator Bernie Taupin. You mind a lot of the classics, though. There are certain songs in it, like uh, Saturday Night, It's Alright for Fighting, which is um, crucial in the lawnmower race along the back alley with Tybalt and Nomeo. Um, that is being used. Um, and we're going to try and have some other people re record some of the old songs. Um, but I'm going to be, there's going to be me singing the old songs, other people singing old songs. Nomeo and Juliet is in theaters now. From inside the Mouse Castle, I'm Tim Calloway. See you real soon.